From tigers that hunt men to hornets and dragons that terrorize villages, here are the 10 deadliest animals in all of Asia. Number 10. Sloth Bear When talking about the deadliest animals in Asia, you can't skip over the sloth bear. Sloth bears aren't exactly cute and cuddly. They have shaggy, dusty black coats, and they can grow 5 to 6 feet long. They stand 2 to 3 feet high at the shoulder and weigh, on average, a whopping 200 to 300 pounds. Sure, grizzlies and black bears can be pretty terrifying in North America, but their Asian counterparts are just as vicious. For example, take the recent story reported in India Today, in which a farmer was mauled to death and eaten by a rogue sloth bear. It happened in a remote village in India, when the farmer apparently ventured off into the woods on his property by himself. It's not clear what exactly happened, but the farmer's body was later found partially eaten and horribly disfigured. Then, another person was also attacked by a bear in the same area, probably the same one who now has a taste for blood, before it was put down by the authorities. This is how dangerous Asian bears can be. But of course, it's not totally their fault. Sloth bears are endangered and protected under the Wildlife Protection Act, and yet, because of the depletion of their habitat and a serious food shortage, they are forced to move closer and closer to where humans live, which often results in these types of deadly encounters. Can't blame the sloth bear for being hangry. Number 9. Indian Red Scorpion There are a lot of scorpions found all throughout the world, but the one scorpion considered to be the most lethal on the entire planet is actually found in Asia. I'm talking about the Indian Red Scorpion, which actually isn't completely red. It's often a reddish-brown or even an orange-brown colour. And even though the Indian Red Scorpion doesn't actively hunt humans, it will definitely give you a nasty sting if you get too close. The scorpion can be found throughout Sri Lanka, India and even Nepal, and it's pretty small. They only grow to be about two or three and a half inches in length, and they have a thick tail with a bright red knot at the end where the stinger is. If this thing were to sting you, you would immediately experience symptoms of pain, vomiting and sweating. Once the venom is in your cardiovascular system, you can die from pulmonary edema. What's even scarier about this is the anti-venom is almost never effective. Many people suffer allergic reactions from the venom and go into anaphylactic shock. They are small, but deadly. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 8. Komodo Dragon Scorpions are horrifying because they are small and venomous, but Komodo dragons are horrifying for a whole different set of reasons. These are the biggest and most fearsome reptiles in the world, and they are only found in Asia. Specifically, Komodo dragons can be found in large numbers on Komodo Island in Indonesia. Due to the remoteness of its island, researchers didn't discover it until 1910. Following the discovery, it quickly became clear that it was an apex predator in its environment. These amazing reptiles demonstrate excessive power, especially with its long tail. On several occasions, researchers have witnessed the dragon knocking down grown deer with just a swipe of its tail, often breaking their legs in the process. They can be as big as 10 feet and weigh over 200 pounds. They have sharp teeth similar to sharks, venom that can kill a person within hours, and they are incredibly mean. Attacks on humans are pretty rare, but Komodo dragons have been responsible for several human fatalities in both the captivity and wild. According to data from Komodo National Park spanning a 38-year period between 1974 and 2012, there were 24 reported attacks on humans, five of them fatal. In a recent story from ABC News, it was reported that a single, unusually angry Komodo dragon terrorised an entire village in Indonesia. It happened while a park ranger was doing paperwork and a ferocious dragon slinked up the stairs into his hut inside the Komodo National Park and bit his ankle. When the ranger tried to open the beast's jaws, it then bit his hand. He ended up needing to be sewn up with 55 stitches, and three months later he was still suffering from the pain. If it hadn't been for his nearby friends hearing his screams of agony and getting him to the hospital in time, he could have died. The lesson here is that Komodo dragons are ferocious beasts, and apparently some of them have a taste for human flesh. Number 7. Man-Eating Tigers Speaking of having a taste for human flesh, let's talk about the man-eating tigers in India. These are without a doubt the most ferocious and dangerous predators in all of Asia. North from the Bay of Bengal, inside the dense mangroves of the Sundarbans, there live a special breed of vicious tigers that has been known to kill around 50 people annually, as reported by the BBC. Of course, this is nothing compared to elephants that allegedly kill around 350 people a year. But it's still pretty awful. It's also probably a lot more painful to be mauled to death by a tiger. Inside this remote habitat, 
is 70% of all remaining wild tigers in the world. There are around 3,000 of the beasts living here, and they are not afraid of humans in the slightest. But what's really fascinating is that not every tiger in this area is of course a man-eater. That would be pretty insane. According to a retired carnivore biologist with the Wildlife Conservation Society, there are only between 10 and 15 tigers in the Sundarbans that are persistent human predators. Still, it only takes 10 tigers to wipe out a small village. These are beautiful, strong and sadly endangered animals, but also extremely deadly. Number 6. Slow Loris Try to think of the most dangerous primate in the world. I'll give you a second. Did you imagine a gorilla or some other large King Kong beast? If so, you would be wrong. One of the most dangerous primates also happens to be one of the smallest and one of the slowest in the world. The slow loris is not only among the rarest primates on our planet, diverging from African bush babies somewhere around 40 million years ago, but they are also incredibly poisonous. They live in southeastern Asia, they have human-like hands with opposable thumbs, and they have a bite so lethal it can kill a man in just hours. As of now, there is no cure for the bite of a slow loris. In fact, scientists aren't even sure why the primate has venom. It's kind of insane considering the slow loris doesn't do anything except drink nectar and hang out in the trees. Despite everything, the slow loris secretes toxins in its saliva and in glands located on the inside of its arm. The slow loris will lick the venom from its arm, combining the toxins with its already dangerous saliva to create a double venom according to a conservation biologist from Oxford Brookes University. Even though this primate is slow and small, a single bite would almost certainly lead to death. Number 5. The Banded Crate The first snake on our list today is the Banded Crate, arguably one of the most venomous snakes in all of Asia. It's commonly found in India and throughout Southeast Asia, including Thailand, and you can recognise it immediately because of its black and yellow crossbands. There is no mistaking the Banded Crate for any other slithering serpent. It can grow to be nearly 6 feet long, has a broad head and mean, beady black eyes. It lives everywhere from dry forests to mangrove swamps. Banded crates also live everywhere from Bangladesh to Hong Kong, and they are absolutely deadly. Their venom contains neurotoxins that can be fatal to humans. But these snakes are deadly to other animals too. They're typically lazy during the daytime and would rather run away than fight. But if needed, the banded crate can definitely protect itself. It has been recorded biting and killing large types of cattle that ended up getting a little too close. A giant cow will die after 60 minutes of being bitten, whereas a human can die anywhere from between 30 minutes and 15 hours. Number 4. Asian Giant Hornet In China, giant hornets are a serious concern. Just a few years ago, there was an Asian Giant Hornet attack that killed dozens of people and injured over 1,500. These are not the ordinary hornets you find buzzing around your picnic on a calm summer day. These are monstrous insects with venom able to destroy red blood cells, resulting in some cases of kidney failure and even death. According to an entomologist of the Southwest Biological Institute in Arizona, an even bigger problem than their toxicity is the allergic reaction that many people have to being stung. Much of the time, hornet attacks in China kill people because of a deadly anaphylactic reaction, resulting in a closed airway and sometimes even cardiac arrest. Here's some other scary facts. The Asian giant hornet is the biggest hornet species on the planet, basically like the mastiff of the wasp world. It's a mean little critter found all throughout East Asia and Southeast Asia, nearly 2 inches in size, basically the size of a human thumb. As for why the attacks in China happened, many experts blame it on increased urbanisation, unusually dry weather and increased vegetation. Essentially, climate change and habitat loss. Number 3. Coconut Crab The coconut crab is a very real monster. It's a beast of a crustacean that can grow 3 feet in length and is generally believed to be the biggest arthropod that lives on land. What's strange is that according to the vintage news, scientists are now saying that coconut crabs may have been responsible for the unsolved disappearance of Amelia Earhart, the original female aviation pioneer. To understand more about this, let's look deeper into the coconut crab. The special animal has immense strength. It only weighs about 9 pounds, but can carry over 6 times its body weight. The coconut crab also has extremely strong pincers, which can exert almost as much force as the bite from a lion. And even though these crabs are so fierce, they primarily feed only on coconuts. They climb up the trees, knock the coconuts down, then use their strong pincers to break the coconuts open. However, coconut crabs will also kill birds inside of trees and drag them into their lairs. They will even eat corpses. She disappeared near Howland Island in the South Pacific and her body was never recovered. 
Scientists are now saying that Amelia Earhart likely washed up on the beach, probably very badly injured, and then she was swiftly dismembered and probably eaten by a group of very rude coconut crabs. Number 2. Asiatic Water Buffalo The water buffalo doesn't look inherently dangerous, unless of course you're lost in the jungle staring one straight in the eyes. They may look similar to cows, but you definitely don't want to try and milk one in the wild. Water buffalo are horrifying, and it's believed that they all originated in Asia. However, they were introduced throughout the years to Australia, Africa, and of course, North America. The Asian water buffalo is actually an endangered species now. Even after being domesticated by humans thousands of years ago, the water buffalo spends most of its time submerged in muddy water, keeping itself cool and enjoying being lazy. But water buffalo can be extremely dangerous. In Africa, the Cape Buffalo is known as the Black Death because it kills nearly 200 people a year, including hunters. In Asia, water buffalo aren't quite as feared, but because of their huge bulk, they are a force to be reckoned with. They stand about 8 to 9 feet tall and can weigh over 2,500 pounds. It just takes one angry water buffalo to trample a fully grown man. Number 1. Asian Elephant Elephants are the biggest land mammals living on the planet. They're giants, weighing 6,000 to 9,000 pounds and standing 7.5 to 9 feet tall. But we often refer to them as gentle giants. The truth is that elephants are only gentle when they want to be. When they're in a bad mood, they can be violent forces of nature. Take for example the recent story of campers in Thailand that were woken up in the middle of the night when a wild elephant invaded their campground and killed an old man who was literally doing nothing except sleeping in his tent. According to the report from Asia One, the elephant broke into the Far Klua Mai camping ground in the dead of night, walked over the 80-year-old man's tent, grabbed him with its trunk, and then threw him so hard against a tree that the old man died instantly. The rest of the campers ran away to safety, and the elephant made off like a criminal. And this just goes to show that even in 2021, elephants are still the most dangerous animals in all of Asia. Thanks for watching. Have you ever seen one of these animals in real life? Let me know about your experience in the comments. Be sure to come back soon, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.